hello Virgos. As most of you know, I was out of state in uh, Seattle County in Washington trying to find the soulmate I've been channeling, but I am back home in California now, so I'm ready to get into some readings again. Um, the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that it's time to deal with some sort of obsessive ex that's been doing love spells or some type of re reconciliation magic on you. Uh, you will win this battle, but it's something that you need to address because they, they're like a psychic vampire. They keep pulling on your energy. They keep trying to, you know, tap back into your energy. So you can't really just keep sweeping it under the rug. You really need to address this and, you know, remove this person from your energy field. Maybe do a cut and clear ritual on them. But, um, but yeah, you, you need to face this head on is what I'm getting for this. If this is your energy group, you can't just pretend like it's not there. You know, um, there's something that needs to be resolved here so you can really be free of this person. Um, but let's see where we're at now. Let's see what's going on now. So cold, guarded, distrusting, hidden truth. A sense of belonging home. Sadness. Pride and stubbornness. Risk, reward, bull gesture, choosing love over fear. Nostalgia and longing. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Okay, so use your intuition because for some of you, this is toxic. For some of you, it's not, though. For some of you, this is someone that's decent, but you know who this person is already. Um, I'm getting that this is someone who was very cold with you, very guarded, very distrusting, maybe um, sabotage things, maybe questioned you too much, uh, kind of maybe played hard to get or kind of left you on red when they shouldn't have. Um, I think they just played games. I feel like there was a lot of pride with this person, a lot of stubbornness. They were kind of set in their, they were kind of set in their ways. Um, it's like they, you guys were like at a standstill. You know, you weren't talking, they weren't talking. You, you guys are both trying to play hard to get or someone was trying to play some kind of, you know, mind game or something and it ended up backfiring. A hidden truth is coming out, though. So I feel like this person. Like I said, I feel like it backfired on this person. So I feel like this truth came out and they're they're taking the mask off because their games didn't work. They're trying to trying to pull you in like maybe you're used to people chasing you and they're used to people chasing them or something of that sort so they thought you were going to chase them and now they're realizing that you're not but some kind of hidden truth is coming out and this person is taking off the mask and they're realizing that their home is with you that their safe space is with you and they're realizing how much they've sabotaged this connection and they're feeling very sad about this uh, they know that their pride got the best of them, and now they're wanting to come back around. They're wanting to make this bold gesture and choose love over fear because they're feeling nostalgic. They're, they're longing for you. They're missing you. So they're choosing their words wisely, and they're planning their approach. They're planning a way to come back in. For some of you, though, this does feel toxic. For some of you, I do get the sense that this is someone that gaslit you. And this could even be the person that I was channeling, the, the obsessive ex that's doing love spells. Um, it's like maybe maybe they were trying to um, manifest you back. Like they were trying to put the idea in your head to text them or to call them. And you're resisting. You're not doing it. Like they're trying to come through in your dreams or they're trying to just pull you back in. And you're not really having it. You're kind of just doing your, you know, you're doing you. You're focusing on other people, focusing on other things. And this person is getting frustrated because they realize it's not going to work. They're not going to be able to, you're not going to text first. Whether it's pride, ego, maybe it's just the ball is not in your court anymore. It's in their court. It's up to them to make the first move if they want this. Um, so you're standing strong. You're, you're really confident right now. You're standing in your power 
and they're getting frustrated and upset and they're realizing that they're realizing that you are not going to be the first one to budge and that if this connection is going to go somewhere, they're going to have to be the first one that reaches out. So they've, they've reached that point where they, they understand that they sabotage this themselves. So now they're thinking about what to say, but some of them still have a lot of pride. So it's like they want to talk, but they want to word it a certain way because their pride won't let them just say, Hey, I'm sorry. I messed up. They want, it's almost like they're thinking about like their rebuttals or they're thinking about like, well, what if, what if he or she calls me out on doing magic? What am, what am I going to say? Um, like they're thinking of excuses, just things like that. So for some of you, this really is a toxic energy. I'd say for a lot of you, actually, this could be a toxic energy. So this might be that person that you, you need to cut this out. You know, you need to release this because I mean, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like what I was getting the last reading I did for Virgos, where I was feeling like a lot of you feel like, well, I'm over this person. I'm done with them. I don't care about them anymore. And it's like, that's great. But if you still have the red cords attached, if you have not cut and cleared them, they can still pick up on your energy. Even if you don't care anymore, you guys can still, you know, have this unresolved karma. You can still have this through that red cord. You can still have this connection where they can still tap into your energy and still try to get through to you, even if you're done with them. You know what I mean? So it's like, it doesn't mean, you know, I mean, I know it, it's hard to face it, but it's like, if you just go do the cut and clear work, just, just clear this energy up, just you know, really release this person and protect yourself and shield yourself because this person is trying to get in. They're really trying. So you, you can't really just ignore it and be like, Oh, I'm fine. I'm good. Like it's, you know what I mean? Like you have to kind of address this and you need to protect yourself from this and you need to do the cut and clear work so you can free yourself from this because this person is obsessive and you know, you're going to feel that energy, even if you don't like it, it's like, you're going to feel it. So you need to kind of do something to, you need to just address this so that you can protect yourself and not get dragged into this energy, um, telepathically, if that makes sense. And it's not saying you have to like go back to that or you have to be stuck in that. No, nothing like that. It's just saying, face it, address it, cut it out, you know, uh, and do uncrossing work, do healing work, just you know, shield yourself, you know, however you shield, whether it's through stones, crystals, magic, um, intention, visualization, meditation, whatever it is, you, you need to be shielding yourself. You can't just go day to day and be like, oh, I'll be fine. It's good. It's like, no, like this person is not going to just suddenly stop. Like this person's going to keep coming at you. So you need to, when you put up that shield, it's going to frustrate them even more because they're not going to be able to get in at a certain point. If you keep it up, if you're consistent, you know, and it, it's, it's like at a certain point, they're just, they're not going to be getting the energy they want from you. And, you know, at a certain point they might actually finally give up. But at the, in the meantime, it feels like they are still getting in, like they are still able to tap into your energy. And as long as they're able to, they're going to keep doing it. And let me just remind you, this if this is either your story or it isn't, I mean, it, it, you know, only take it if it resonates. I get a lot of comments saying like, oh, well, I'm not, that's not me. I'm not, okay, then it's not your story. Like, don't, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I get, I get tired of those comments. Like, psychics get tired of, of those comments because it's, it's very disrespectful to the readers that are doing this. It's like, if it's not your story, then it's not your story. You know what I mean? But there's someone that needs to hear this. There is some people in this energy group that need this message. They need to know what's happening so they can take care of it. You know, the cards, the, yeah, the cards say what they say. It's, it's, I'm, it's not me. I mean, it's, I am unbiased. I, I tell the story just as it is, whether it's good or bad. It's just, it is what it is, you know? Um, but yeah, someone, there's some kind of something you need to be defensive about here, betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Like you need to, it's almost like you're part of a psychic battle and you have so much on your plate right now that you're just like, no, like I know I have other stuff going on. I can't deal with this fool anymore, but it's almost like you have to just come at them. You know what I mean? Like you have to just shield, you have to cut them out. You have to, you know, take this dagger, this sword and cut them out. You have to, you got to free yourself, you know, um, you can't just sweep it under the rug anymore as much as it sucks.
fear of commitment. And some of you have already dealt with this. So this could just be because some of you are like you guys are all in this energy group, but some of you are still catching up. So I'm, I apologize if you've already if you did get my last reading and you already dealt with this, like maybe you're good to go. But this could just be for there might be like a few people left that have not dealt with this yet that, that need to hear this message, you know, maybe people that like missed the last video or something, you know, um, Yeah, it's like someone's trying to keep you stagnant. I'm going to reshuffle, though, and I'm going to see what is going on with new love, though, because a lot of you already have that message. And for those of you that did not see my last Virgo video, maybe go check that one out. Because um, there's more, because I don't want to do the same reading over again, you know what I mean? Just for those of you that have already gotten past that energy, I want to be able to give you guys something new here. So what's, okay. So we already know that there's someone... This energy group needs to cut out, but what comes after that? Can you show me what 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 comes after that for them? What's what else do we need to know? Domination, control, sense of belonging, home, safe space, trapped, blocked, tied up. Yeah, ending this pattern, ending um ending a cycle, I feel like So I feel like a lot of you that are like sweeping it under the rug and you're like, oh my God, I'm just so done with this person. Like when you actually step into your power and you cut them out, like not just because, I mean, it's not saying that they're strong. Like they're not that strong. It's just that they're consistent. You know what I mean? Like they're not, they're not powerful. They're just consistent. They're, con they're consistently obsessing over you. They're consistently trying to pull you back in. But when you take your, your power, domination, control, when you take your power back, when you address this, when you say enough is enough, you are not going to irritate me anymore. You're not going to be, you're not going to come in my dreams anymore. You're not going to pop up in my energy field anymore. You're not going to, you know, drain my energy like a psychic vampire whenever it suits you. Like you actually do the cut and clear work, the uncrossing, the shielding, all of that. You're going to be breaking this pattern because I feel like you have a, a pattern with people like this where it feels like home to you. It feels familiar, like that being trapped or blocked or tied up. Like it feels like it's like familiar to you. Like it's all you've known. Like you're used to people like this. You have a long pattern with this. And when you take your power back and you you cut this cord, you take the blindfold off and you cut the cord instead of just sweeping it under the rug. It's like you're dealing with things in a new way that you haven't really maybe you haven't done that before. For some of you, it's like you're doing something new and you're ending this cycle, this pattern, you're taking your power back. So that's another reason why it's important to, to deal with it and not just sweep it under the rug because it's a karmic lesson for you that you have the power to cut this cord. You don't have to be afraid of this cord. You can just take the blindfold off and you're going to see it's just a cord you just cut. It, it's just, you know, and you do what comes with that too. Like you might want to do some journal writing and burn the paper when you do the cut and clear ritual, but whatever it is, this cord has been keeping you trapped and stagnant and tied up and you need to take this blindfold off and, and cut this out and free yourself. Breakthrough, freedom, ending a pattern, ending some kind of cycle that's been holding you back. And, um, you know, it's like you've been attracting the same person, but in different bodies, it's like the same energy and over and over again. And this karmic lesson, it's like, I feel like one reason why it's not going away is because the karma the karmic lesson is unresolved. Like, I feel like, I feel like you were meant to take your power back from this person. You were meant to kind of put this person in their place in a safe way, of course, you know, but you were meant to, um, to just use your strength and to just realize your ability to manifest the life that you want, that you can free yourself. But I think a lot of you are so stressed out and overwhelmed that you're like, you've been sweeping it under the rug. Like, Oh my God, I just don't want to deal with this person anymore. Like just kind of like trying to push them out a little bit, but it's like, you're not really fully addressing it. And I think that's one reason why your guides are even allowing this to energy to remain in your life is because the karmic lesson was for you to address it, for you to be powerful, for you to be strong, for you to be assertive, for you to, um, you know, make your life what you want it to be. And by sweeping it under the rug, it's like kind of it's it's more like a submissive kind of passive aggressive energy, if that makes sense, where they want you to be more in this like dominant kind of alpha type energy and realize your power and your strength. Um, 
Because if you don't, it's like you're just going to manifest someone else that's going to teach you the same karmic lesson about setting boundaries, about, you know, owning your power. And they don't want you to have to go through all that again. That's why they're, but that's why this, that's why you're stagnant right now. That's why this energy is kind of just remaining in your life because it, this was the karmic lesson. They don't want that to repeat in the next relationship that you have. So they want you to deal with it in this, this ex, this, you know, past relationship. Um, so that that karmic cycle can be complete, if that makes sense. So it's like, Like you need to realize, you need, you know, just pushing past fear, you know, being, just taking your strength back. And that's when you get to have someone that's going to have mutual feelings with you, emotional depth, you know. Toxicity, red flags, and then adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Yeah, because it's like you're kind of just wanting to, like, not deal with this. And it's like saying you have to, you know, because this person is going to keep coming back at you. So it's like, no, deal with it so that you can have this. So you can have the mutual feelings, the adventure, the honeymoon, the new start. You're, like, trying to, you're trying to skip ahead. You're like, okay, I'm just ready for new love. I'm ready to not. But you have to go back to this karmic lesson as much as it sucks. You have to clear this energy up. And then that's when you get the new love. And finances. Abundance and finances, getting out of financial poverty, new love, fading encounter. Lots of good energy coming in for you when you face this and clear this up. Dreams, visions. And again, I apologize if you already if you've already done this. Like I said, there's this is the same energy group, but there might just be a few people that have not caught up with this energy quite yet and they still need to do this. So I had to, you know, put this message out there again. Yeah, you're gonna have like a soulmate connection here that is you know very telepathic a very strong psychic connection might be end up having dreams about this person i feel like when you clear i feel like your chakras are blocked as well so when you clear up this old past energy your chakras are also going to start opening up and your third eye is going to start opening up more and so you're going to be telepathically connecting with this new love maybe even having visions dreams about them and you're going to have this love offer, this commitment. It's like the world is going to be your oyster. There's just this, this energy that just has to be cleared up. You know, the divine is going to intervene. And you're going to see the synchronicities that are going to be leading you to this new person. Mental instability, spying. Yeah, it's like this person keeps trying to come through. So it's like that's why it needs to be addressed. Because they keep coming through in your readings probably too. Like you're probably you're probably watching other readers and you're like, what the hell? Why does my ex always come through? Like why is my ex always coming through? Um, and it's like, like I said, the energy has to be cleared up. You got to do the cut and clear spell because you still have that red cord. Even if you don't care about them, the red cord is still there. That still needs to be cleared. And you have to protect yourself. You have to do the uncrossing. You need to do the chakra clearing. All those things are important to move ahead. Um, and I know it's like extra work and you already have a lot on your plate. But I mean, it just, it is what it is, you know. Willpower, strength, confidence. Yeah, it's going to take, it's going to take willpower. It's going to take strength and confidence to clear this energy up. But it's got to be done. Um... There could be soul contracts that need to be ended as well here. Yeah. I might go through a period of healing before you can allow yourself to be, before you want to allow yourself to be vulnerable again, I should say. But you, you, yeah, it's time to face this. That's all I can say. Um, and if you'd like a paid private reading, my email is below in the description box. Any donations are appreciated, and please subscribe if this resonates. Thank you guys for watching. And like I said, I'll try to get more about new love um, in a couple weeks when I do your, your mid-month videos. 
Um, this was just for a few of you that are still catching up to this energy. It's just important that this gets cleared up. And it's 333 right now if that means anything to anyone. All right. Thanks for watching.